Our company had a, um, a family refractory contracting company, which my dad started in 1946, and I joined the company in 1954. We had um, a couple of very big jobs finish without uh, extra work to go to, and so we had a surplus of equipment not a lot of storage space. So I thought I'd see if I could rent the things out. And we rattled away at that, uh, having really having no idea what we were doing. We, we sort of made up the rates that we thought we could get. There was uh, uh, no one around much doing the same thing that I knew that I could talk to. My father had a rural supplies business. One of the agencies he had was the Lightburn Concrete Mixer, which he kept on getting people wanting to borrow it. And he said, no, I won't lend it to you, I'll hire it to you. And that's what started our business. I joined the business in 1964. I was traveling overseas. So I uh, called in on the Wanamakers in Los Angeles, and they suggested that I go back to the American Rental Association convention in Fort Worth, which was the following week. That's where I started really learning about the industry. So we saw how the convention ran. We also then saw the businesses that were there and they just did things so differently to us. They were fantastic teachers, particularly Sam Greenberg and Bill Grass and some of those people. They were so open and they'd uh, say, hey, look at this. And they'd actually bring out their financial reports showing us the profits and the losses and the income they made on various items. They were fantastic. And I think we learned a lot from that. My estimation was that we were 20 years behind at the time. I came back and with Nev, my brother, we started raising our game. He was a great influence on me, but he was also a great influence on the industry. It was providential when one day Neville Kennard rang me and asked me would I like to come to a meeting of blokes doing the same sort of thing. I met six or eight blokes who were equally ignorant as to how it all worked as me. And it started to formulate that perhaps we should have a formal group. And I must say, without Neville Kennard, that would never have happened. The rental business in Australia would have been nothing like it is without his early input, in my view. When I was sent to Sydney, I was 24, and we'd just been married 18 months. I had one daughter, and uh, I think another one was on the way. I sort of met Andy first. Uh, he lived in Mossman, where I lived, and the association was really quite important for us to talk about the common challenges that we had and what would be the best solutions. Most people were unaware that they could hire stuff. Builders tended to own their own equipment, and so we had to present a much better alternative for them. We were all headed in the same direction. It was quite uncommon, you know. It was almost like a company. We had courage and we had uh, the enthusiasm and blind vision of youth. <laughs>